night and today I am going to be doing a sort of my take on the Lily the 52 challenge so one of the topics was your favorite hairstyle and I thought instead of just doing like my one favorite hairstyle I'll show you guys a few of my hairstyles that I like to do in Lolita with my natural hair and a lot of girls like to wear wigs and I occasionally like to wear wigs too but honestly I do prefer my natural hair it just is easier so I'll just show you guys a few ways that I do and that I style my natural hair um if you guys can see this is my natural hair it was washed this morning and it is naturally straight so yeah, um, I'm so I apologize if the lighting in here isn't very good today. It's kind of a dark day. It's kind of overcast. You guys can see this is my natural hair. I do dye it. My hair is naturally like a dark Asian black color. Um, I do dye it. I'm tr I'm slowly dyeing it back to black, but um, it is like this naturally. Um, so it's kind of like up to here, which I think is a good length. So yeah, first I'll show you guys things that you'll be needing. I'm gonna be showing you guys three different hairstyles and you'll be needing a few things first um, I'm using a straightener you'll be using a straightener I'm just using this sunshine girl straightener by ISO but any straightener will do really and the, the other thing that you'll be needing is two hair ties I'm using two hair ties in a different color but really just two hair ties and I prefer the one with, without the metal like little metal parts because they don't catch your hair as easily you need two of those. Um, a brush if you haven't brushed your hair, so make sure like you brush your hair through. And then your hair accessories, so like your big head eating bow, I guess would be what you call it. So I'll be showing you hairstyles based on the idea that you'll be wearing a large head eating like bow. Um, I think the bow is the most versatile and common popular hair accessory when it comes to Lolita fashion. So I will be doing three different hairstyles for you to wear with your giant head eating bows. So first of all, if you have a large head eating bow um, and you just put it on your natural hair with no styling or anything, um, unless you have naturally curly hair, um, I think it looks kind of funny because it's so flat and it just kind of sticks out funny, I think. I think it looks fine, it doesn't look bad, I just think it kind of looks a little odd. So what I like to do, um, if I don't feel like messing with my hair strainer or my curler that day, is I take my hair and I put it up into two little pigtails up like this. I don't know if you can tell. You can also use like clips, I guess that might be easier. But what this does is it makes your hair a little look a little bit more voluminous, 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 whatever. Um, so that your head bow just looks better. So all you do is you part your hair like like the top part like this you just tie it off with a hair tie so as you guys can already see it like it just it gives it more oomph I guess is the way to put it um, of course the larger the, the hair tie you use um, the more oomph you're gonna get like the more volume you're gonna get so and you just do the same thing on the other side it doesn't have to be particularly even either. So that is about like what I do really quickly. And all you do is you take your head bow and you put it right in front of the hair ties. And as you guys can see, it kind of just gives it a little more oomph. And it doesn't, so it just kind of like, it just looks more cohesive, I suppose. So yeah, I guess the idea of these little pigtails is it kind of gives you the effect of the giant like twin tail wigs without it being so like big but it kind of gives the same effect on a smaller scale and I just think this naturally looks good and I think this looks good with straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair whatever you might have kind of hair I think it looks good you can even do this for like if you have a wig and you want to style this way that would work great too so yeah this would be hairstyle number one and I hope um you guys do like this hairstyle this is the first twin tail or like little mini pigtail hairstyle as you guys can see, this kind of gives your hair more volume, so it just looks nicer. And this is, I, I do like to do this hairstyle when I'm feeling like kind of lazy, I guess, when it comes to my hair. So let's pull this off. And of course, you can, you know, add little accessories and things. But fine, I'm just showing you the, like, the straight up just basics. Okay, so the next hairstyle, you're gonna need your hair straightener. My puppy is trying to sit on my straightener, and if it's so all I do is I turn it on and I actually haven't turned it on yet. So you need to 
let it heat up and in the meantime just kind of comb through your hair I'm just gonna use my fingers and gently comb through my hair and so this next hairstyle is a fairly simple hairstyle all I'm gonna do is curl the ends of my hair and also my bangs so I have natural I have like this is my natural hair and as you can see I have bangs but if you want you can put in the clip in bangs so what I do is I part the front parts of my hair so just kind of the shortest parts of your hair like this um, this is the first part that I'm going to curl in so you want to take your straightener and run it through your hair once just to kind of heat up the hair a little bit and then you're going to curl the ends inward like this and just kind of pull it down slowly, slowly. and this is the kind of effect you're going to get and do the same thing on the other side I'm just going to do this one okay. So you get this kind of a gentle like inward curving kind of a hairstyle. Okay, then for the rest of your hair, you basically do the same thing. You just want the ends curled inward. So I like to do this in portions. So you want the ends to kind of curl in like this, or just the end. You can make it as dramatic or as soft as you want. So I'm going to take my last little section and curl it inward. Like this. And this is the effect that you get, and this is the result. And then all you do is add your hip bow. And you're set. You know, you can add little head bows or whatever you might want to do. But yeah, I think this is a really cute and really easy hairstyle to do. You just curl the ends. It kind of gives it like a kind of a dolly feel um, without too much work and too much effort. So I really like this hairstyle. I hope you guys like this too. And for the last hairstyle, I'm going to show you guys. Instead of just being like a curling, we're going to actually make it into like curls. And um, I'm going to curl all my curls inward. So, with the hair trainer, you can also use a curl or a curling iron if you prefer. I just like using my strainer. What you're gonna do is you wanna hold it like kind of straight up like this. And turn it inward and pull it down. Just get this kind of ringlet curl and just do it again and you can portion your hair into however big or however small portions you want so just turn turn your hair curler in and just pull it and make sure you're holding it straight and just like this and then the last section do the same thing hold it straight up turn it like a 90 degrees in and just pull. And this is the result that you get. Do the same thing on the other side, except for this time you're going to curl this way because you want it to be curling inward to your face. So take a portion of hair. And that's what you get. More 
hair you pull, the larger the curl is going to be. And um, the, lar the, the larger a hair straightener you're going to use, the looser and larger the curl is going to be. So all that's left is to add the head bow. Just like this. And you're done. I think curling your hair like this makes your hair look more voluminous. So um, it balances out the large head bow on the top. I think all these hairstyles, what they do is they balance out the volume of the large head bow with your actual hair. Um, yeah, so these are all um, great hairstyles to use, I think, especially if you have natural straight hair like I do. Even if you don't, you can start by straightening your hair first and then um, curling it or doing these hairstyles. If you curl your hair, don't forget to hairspray it um, if your hair tends to lose curl really quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed this little hairstyle tutorial video. I hope this was helpful. If you guys like hair tutorials, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!